Kinda simple, kinda wasteful about things and your Hey guys, so today I'm doing my speed clean routine. This is the routine I always do before I leave the house because I like to come home to a clean house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done in this video as well as at the end of the video guys, I'm gonna share with you guys a super easy dinner recipe. So you don't wanna miss that. But if you guys are new, my name is Carrie, hello. And if you're not new, welcome back. I'm so happy to have all of you here. So let's go ahead and get right into the cleaning. About the drunk bites, bragging glory you're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself and the way of how you dwell i get it oh i'm so tired of hearing all your stories about your rich friends traveling in mercedes you're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself and the way of how you dwell don't you get it Okay, so I had an extra bowl of moss, so I decided to add it to my dresser. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. I just had these two from the get-go on there, but it just looked kind of bare, so I just think the three of them just fills up the space better. And I also added this lamp right here. So our TV isn't centered with a wall because the door is right here, and we didn't want the door to hit the TV every time we swung it open. So that's why the TV's over there, and I just thought it needed something extra right here so let me know what you guys think about the lamp and everything Yes, that's a husky fluff that I'm sharing with you guys. The dog hair is just never ending with three dogs. Let me know in the comments below if your house is the same way. I feel like I live in the wild west though because I always see like tumbles of husky fur just rolling around on the ground. It doesn't matter how much I vacuum or how much I dust, it's just always around. I love my doggies, but these dog beds drive me crazy because they're just so large and they take up like all the room. Um, I'm considering getting like a memory foam rug. I found one at a furniture store and it's pretty thick, so it would be really comfortable for the dogs to lay on. I don't know, Jerry and I keep going back and forth on it. We're done in the bedroom, now we're heading to the main living area. Whenever I do my speed cleaning, I just hurry up and pick everything off the ground, pick everything off the tables, then I'm gonna go ahead and start dusting. Follow you. Whenever I do my speed cleaning before I leave the house, I just go ahead and leave the dog bed that's in the living room because I know one of my dogs is going to lay there whenever I leave the house. And I also skip vacuuming off the couches because I know the dogs are going to jump up there regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that step today as well. I'm just 
going to do a quick vacuum, then we'll head into the kitchen. I filmed this video on a Saturday before we went to Ikea. We actually ended up picking up a cabinet from there for our mudroom. I'm doing like a mudroom transformation in there. So make sure if you're new, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss it. I actually have a couple projects coming up, so I have a lot of exciting things coming your way. Onto the kitchen now. I'm just going to clear off all those countertops and I'm going to go ahead and start on those dishes. I'm almost done with all my cleaning. All I have to do is finish up vacuuming in here and then I'll share with you guys my dinner recipe. you guys a super simple recipe and it's delicious it's so good i asked Jared if we could have it every week because i just love it so much um it's called baked ham and cheese sliders so all you'll need is some minced onion uh, some worcestershire sauce i think that's how you say it <laughs> and some butter the swiss cheese hawaiian sweet rolls honey dijon, a pound of ham. Um, Jared likes turkey, so we always put that on there, but you guys don't have to do that step if you guys don't want to. And then some spray for your pan, and then a pan. And But the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is preheat the oven to 350. And we're gonna go ahead and start making this delicious meal. All right guys, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is melt that butter, but I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen on the right hand side the exact ingredients. Sharon and I kind of modify this recipe a little bit just for our own taste, but I'll have that on the right side for you guys. Also, I'll have the recipe listed below for you.
After all the ingredients are in the butter mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Hawaiian rolls. I'm gonna go ahead and slice that right down the middle. Make sure you guys don't slice it like individually. You just want the top part and the bottom part all in one piece. If there's any stressful part of this recipe, here it is, cutting the Hawaiian rolls. I always stress out about it. You want to keep the top part and the bottom part all in one piece if you can, but it's kind of hard sometimes because they like just to break apart as you can tell here. But it's okay, we're going to go ahead and make it work. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some ham to the first layer. Now it's time to add your cheese. Then add another layer of ham, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some turkey on there as well because Jerry likes the turkey. The recipe doesn't call for it, so you guys could skip this step if you want to. Then you just add the top of the bread back on there. Then pour the butter mixture on top of it. You want to make sure you get that butter mixture on every inch of it, then I'm going to go ahead and place it in the oven for 20 minutes. Alright, so whenever I usually make these sandwiches, I usually pair it with like a chicken noodle soup. So this only has five minutes to cook, and then the sandwiches only have about like eight minutes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alright guys, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys try out this recipe, let me know in the comments below because it's so so good so you guys won't be disappointed. But if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. But I'll see you guys next week in my next video. Have a great day. Bye guys.